Hey guys, it's Sarah and today is Booklist Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we are announcing a readathon. This is an idea that popped up when we were on our trip in Asheville for our book to besties trip. Lindsay and I filmed a couple of Booklist Thursday videos while we were together. And in one of our discussions, we kind of came up with this idea of maybe doing another readathon because we had done one quite a few years ago and it was fun. And we've thought about doing another one. We just weren't really motivated all the time and it was kind of hard to find a time where we were both like ready to go and to do one but we are ready now and we came up with the idea of doing a book list backlist readathon so these are going to be books that are going to be backlist books what does backlist mean backlist means any book that is not published in the current calendar year so anything published before 2022. <laughs> so if it was published in December of 2021, even though that doesn't seem like very long ago, it still counts. It's still a backlist book. And we thought it'd be fun to really challenge not only ourselves, but you guys to pick up some of those older titles that have been sitting around your house just waiting to be read because we all have those. And we thought it'd be fun to create some prompts and to encourage everyone to pick up some of those older books. I have definitely been very tempted by new releases so far this year because there are so many great ones coming out and I've just, it's been hard not to just pick up all of them. So I've been really making sure that I am picking backlist books as well. So uh, this was kind of perfect timing. Details. Okay, the readathon is going to be taking place April 11th through the 17th. That's a Monday through a Sunday. And it's going to be very low key. It's nothing crazy. We're going to have five prompts for you guys. If you want to use the prompts, you can. But really, our only challenge is to just pick up some backlist titles. So it doesn't matter if you use the prompts or not. We're just we're going to use them ourselves. And they're just kind of there for guidelines if you want them. We are talking about doing some reading sprints possibly midway through that week. Uh, we'll have more details about that closer to the date, definitely, when we can kind of work out our schedules. But we're talking about maybe doing some live reading sprints, which would be fun. And yeah, it's, it's very low key. Um, so just pick a TBR, take that week to read those books, and join us in the readathon. Okay, so we have five prompts because we normally try to pick five books <laughs> for our book list videos. So we thought five would be a good number. So the first one is to read a backlist book by one of your favorite authors. And I feel like many of us have favorite authors, but we haven't read their entire works. And we're saying one of your favorites because... I know a lot of us have multiple favorite authors, so it you can pick from different people. It doesn't have to be like your absolute favorite author. What if you read all those books? You know what I mean? So just pick an author that you consider one of your favorites and pick one of their backlist books that you have not read yet. Number two is a book that has been collecting dust. Literally find a book that you have to dust off <laughs> in order to read it. We all have those no shame. It's totally fine. We wanted you to pick up one of those books because those are books that obviously if you're dusting it off, you've had it for a very long time and it's just sitting there just waiting for some love. Third prompt is a random color generator. Now, Lindsay and I have done a random color generator and I took a screenshot of it and that is the color that we are picking for this. So we're all going to have the same color and here it is. How beautiful is that? This is called Tella Magenta. How fun is that to say? <laughs> and yeah, so try to find a backlist book that has this beautiful magenta, bright pink, neon pink, however you want to interpret it, something nice and bright magenta color. It can be the entire cover. It can be just the title. It can be a little splotch in the corner as long as this color is on the book cover somewhere. It counts. The fourth prompt is to pick a five-star prediction because those are some of our favorite videos to film and to do on Booklist Thursday. So we want you guys to pick a backlist book that you think you're going to give five stars. And if you want to double up, this could be a fun one to pair with favorite author. 
The fifth prompt is to choose a book that has a scripted title. So the title on the front of the book is something that is like either like script or hand lettered or something, something nice and flowy and pretty and cursive almost, not just like big blocky text, something that has like a really pretty font with the title on the cover. I think that one's going to trip a few people up, but I'm excited for that one. Okay, so those are the details for the Booklist Backlist Readathon, again, happening April 11th through the 17th. We are very excited. And coming up, leading up to the readathon, we're going to have some videos for you that are recommendations from us that will fit some of these prompts. And then we are also going to have our own TBR videos going up right before the readathon. So we are very excited for this. So we hope you guys are going to join us. We just wanted to let you know that this is going to be coming up so you can mark your calendars. And we hope that you guys are going to participate with us. Make sure you go and check out Lindsay today as well. She's going to be talking about um, the readathon and details and all that good stuff. Give her some love over there and we will see you guys again very soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.